hey, for the business owners out there, it is for evaluation. Uh, we all have exit plans in our life. If you own a business or if you guys lead a business, obviously it's to increase your multiple. Businesses with good systems can go from multiples of 4X to 6X because they know they're scalable. They know the reference points. They know the forecasting. If people come in and when they're auditing that business, they're very impressed with that. They see that that's possible. They see the growth that's possible and the ability just to put new people in and have them have very similar success to the people currently using the system. So it makes it immensely scalable. So that second point is for consistency and scalable growth. This comes with a very important piece is that in these rev cultures, you get less turnover. Why? Because accountability is so structured. It's structured by system. You don't have to have a manager um, having subjective views. You have objective views of like how fast are you getting to those customer success tickets? How fast are you getting to those leads? Um, how well are you converting? Nothing is hidden anymore. So these systems allow for very in-depth looks of accountability into people without being that micromanager. It allows for a macro environment. It allows you to reduce turnover of standard employees. And it also allows you to identify where can we train our employees to be better? Where are their weak spots? Where are their strengths? They become evident right away. Because the most important thing that we found internally over the past couple of years is that we'll identify that someone's really good and they're in the wrong seat, like good to great. And we just move them over a seat and all of a sudden they have immense success because we're tracking the metrics that would move those other positions. And we're able to replace them. It's way cheaper than rehiring. And it's way better for the culture to show that you're investing in those people and you can identify those weaknesses and strengths and help them work on them. And so that good to great model that Jim Collins showed can be adapted into this RevOps culture. Now, the final is it creates revenue culture with shared consistent goals. From the start of this, I said that one of the most important things is that we're aligned. That the, the goal on the field is the goal. Like we want to score a goal and we want to defend our net. And we know what those look like, where the defense is customer value or bringing value to customers. And the offense is obviously capturing new business. And we have to do those in unison. Salespeople have to understand what does great deliverability look like? This is one thing that you have to ingrain in your sales staff is how do, how do we actually provide the value? How do those things work? And it's one of the things I learned in corporate culture before I got into being an entrepreneur. I got to work with an amazing Fortune 500 company and they taught me how to onboard people properly. And that was to work in every position that was around you. So I knew how to help people when the chips were down. And that's one thing that we've instilled in our RevOps cultures is how do we do each person's job? What's that accountability? How do they like to be communicated with? And then we help them. And by having that unified approach in revenue operations, you can build systems that don't cause friction or bullwhip effects, as you guys know, but they, they cause continuity. They, they cause collaboration and togetherness. And so those are some of the systems that we've, we've kind of brought together and the reasons that revenue op ops exist is because people want that scale. They want that consistency. They want a lower turnover. All these things happen because of good systems. As I said at the start, I could put a great system as a sales recruit or a great person into a bad system as a sales recruiter and they would turn them over and then blame the salesperson when it was it was always the system the process or sometimes the management right we we know that lots of people leave their managers versus just leave the company itself so the idea is, is how do we work on those and we can identify what good and bad management is with revops um, culture like are you doing a good job how do you support your people better what does that feedback look like you can even have an internal net promoter score getting rated by individual team members with anonymous feedback and finding out where your weak spots are as a leader and getting to improve and help enable those people as we go through thanks for watching and keep removing those revenue roadblocks if you want more videos like this follow our channel for fresh new content every day check out our RevOps playlist, or how about this video chosen just for you? See you next time.